Yo, it's your boy Connor. How you guys doing today? As you guys saw by the title of this video, we got a brand new car on the channel. The Golf is finally gone, and we have gotten an awesome car. We picked up a EK Honda Civic that's originally a 1.4 liter IS uh, Civic, but it has been converted to a Type R swap from a, I believe it's a 2000 Honda Accord Type R which is freaking badass because it has the H22A7 with the 212 horsepower, I believe. Uh, it is amazing. Everything is stock but the engine, but I'll go ahead and, and roll a little bit of a cinematic to show you guys the car, and then we'll come right back and I'll show you guys exactly what we're working with. Let's... Alright, now that we're back and you guys saw that video, uh, I hope you guys like that. I'm trying to work on my cinematics and stuff. Let me show you guys where I'm at. I'm in the middle of nowhere in Germany, and I'll show you guys. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know where the heck I'm at. I'm somewhere near my town, but let's go ahead and show you guys this engine real quick. So here it is right now. Look at that. Uh, it's VTEC. It's down there. It's an H22. I don't know if you guys can see that. It might be too bright. Yeah, it's an H22. It has the LSD transmission, five speed, everything. It's a pretty clean swap everything is uh pretty much refreshed and everything like that the only thing that doesn't have it doesn't have anything else the car does not have anything like no big brakes no big tires no nothing fuel system nothing like that it is completely stock on the inside and outside even even the muffler is the stock one that came from the 1.4 as you guys can see right now it says 1.4 is civic it is definitely just a sleeper. It, there's nothing, nothing done to the rest of the car, which is freaking amazing because if you saw this little Civic pull up to you, you would not know what hit you when you got gapped. But, I mean, I think the plan for this car is just to keep it as stock as possible on the outside. Maybe we might get that, uh, we might get the little I, or what is it, the, IS grill or the S we might get the SI grill and maybe the bottom lip 
and then that's it we might get i don't know i kind of want to see if i can find the civic type r uh those the EK9 rims, those would be pretty nice because they're clean. They're not super flashy or anything like that. And I mean, they would look nice on this on this green, honestly. I would try to get that. I definitely need some big brakes, uh, maybe some coilovers and uh, some suspension parts. And some suspension parts because uh, this car is good and fast, but it corners like shit. It rumbles and everything like that. So we definitely need to get that done. The muffler and everything, the way it sounds, I like the way it sounds. It's not super aggressive or anything like that. We definitely need some touch-up paint. So as you guys can see, it does have some rust right here. It has a little bit of rust right there. I think on the side right here. It's got some rust on the hood, I believe. Uh, right here. Yeah, it's got some rust, but other than, like other than the little spots of rust, it's pretty clean chassis. Oh, here's another another thing. I think it's just chipped with a little bit of rust over. But I mean, look at this paint. It's super like it's super. Now I really like this green. This green is amazing, but it does have a lot of swirls around it, obviously, because uh, I guarantee the person beforehand. I mean, this car was on. Honestly, like this car was just. A 1.4 liter just car or whatever a daily beater so I, I know that people don't really take care of their beaters but we you're probably gonna try to detail this car and get it as clean as possible I mean like the bumper does have like some chips here here and there and stuff but nothing crazy I'll show you guys the interior real quick <sighs> look at that interior is just I might pull I might go to the junkyard just pull some mats for this pretty cheap I guarantee you like the seats are pretty good. Everything's nice, got this little stereo thing, but I have the Bluetooth uh, connector thing, so super cheap. Um, look at that. Everything, so we got we do got a sunroof, which is badass. Super stock on. We do not have AC though, no AC in this car, which kind of sucks because we're in mid-summer and it's hot as balls. But I mean, kind of a trade-off I could try to get an AC compressor from a, a core type R but I don't know how I feel about that we might have to do it if it gets super hot but I think uh, I mean what are we in July August uh, we're definitely gonna go over the heat and then I'm just not gonna use the heater in, or the cooler I'm not gonna use the AC anymore and we're gonna have to it's got a heater but it doesn't have AC so I mean it is what it is total race car kind of thing but I mean, it's honestly amazing. I am so far enjoying the car super quick. I am enjoying the car. I've had it for about, I wanna say a week now. And from that, I've experienced near death experience because the guy that we bought it from is, uh, I don't know, I can't remember where he's from, but he's not from Germany. And uh, we were going on a test drive and he was like, all right, we're gonna go on this curve or whatever. We were going down a straightaway and he pulled up in second gear. And then after that, he went, he redlined it all through the gears, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And we were going freaking fast and we were approaching a corner. We thought he was gonna freaking take the corner, but he didn't. And holy crap, he like pumped on the brakes. The car stopped after that, right when I, right after that experience, I was like, all right, we're taking this boy home. It was uh, definitely a selling point for me because uh, he wanted to show me that the car really ran well and plus the drive home was uh, really long so I mean it hasn't I mean uh, no problems have came up to me yet uh, just like I said when a car corners it does like shake I'm kind of assuming that it's just the old suspension uh, all the like arms and everything like that we might just have to go get some new ones uh, I don't know yet or maybe some bushings I'm not sure but it's gonna be a good project because uh, I mean we have the power we're just gonna probably dial down the suspension uh, everything like that nothing crazy I was thinking about turboing it but I really like the way it drives right now I don't think we need to go any faster we got the super for that something I did do is I did I did try I cleaned up these headlights this one that came out a little less than this one. This one is a lot cleaner uh, because I, this is the second one I did. But I mean, they came out pretty good. They do have some like cracks on the side of it. Not super bad. I mean, we could always go to the junkyard and see if we can find any cleaner ones. 
and then I'm sure they're cheap. This car, like I said, this car's abundant, like the 1.4 liter uh, IS. It's super abundant in Germany. You see a bunch of them, they get junked all the time. But so I'm not super afraid or I'm not super scared about anything, not having no parts or anything like that because everything is pretty abundant. The Accord Type R is pretty abundant here too. There's a lot of them, but it is an old car. So I mean, with not a lot of stuff, because a lot, I know a lot of people don't know about the Accord Type R. I mean, I didn't even know about it until I saw this car, but I mean, I'm sure we'll find we'll be able to find parts a lot of uh, Honda parts are interchangeable with different type of parts but I mean it is what it is this car is amazing and I'm super happy I got it I was really nervous when we were gonna go get it but now that we have it but I'm probably gonna end it here thank you guys for watching I appreciate you guys a lot I'm gonna try to get a lot more videos out for you guys uh, I know that I've been slacking a lot and uh, I just feel really lazy because I work a lot and then when I come home I'm it's almost time to go to sleep so I'm just been super unmotivated lately but from now on I'm gonna try to work a lot more with the car we're gonna try to go to the Nürburgring the Supra I have a lot of parts with that already I just haven't installed just because I haven't had time but hopefully when winter comes down it might cool down for a little bit and I might be able to have a lot more time but thank you guys a lot for watching this video if you guys are still watching my videos Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I appreciate you guys a lot. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next one.